What is up, everybody? Welcome to the MMA Engine. These are my DFS core plays for UFC 276. We have a very good card. Uh, Adesanya Cannoneer, 12 fight banger. I'm looking forward to this card quite a bit before we get into it. If you guys can please leave a like, subscribe here to the MMA Engine so you not miss out on all the other content throughout the week. I'm going to go over my favorite four plays for this slate. My highest exposed fight, my highest exposed fighters, and uh, yeah, like I said, cannot wait to get into it. So let's do it. We have Alexander Volkanovsky, my favorite play on the slate, probably. I mean, nine thousand. He's gonna be my highest owned. Um, he has five rounds to work with here. Holloway absorbs a ton of significant strikes. He's absorbing four point sixty nine significant strikes per minute. Holloway's absorbed over eighteen hundred significant strikes in his entire career and we see that Volkanovski does land a ton landing over six significant strikes per minute uh, Alexander Volkanovski does average 98.5 in both of their fights um, and I think if this fight does go to decision which I am expecting like the other two I like the upside of Volkanovski I like the floor I think he's safe in cash games I think the stack is even safe um, in cash games as well, and I think Volkanovski can even go for takedowns here. I uh, just really like Volkanovski all around this week at 9,000. I think he's underpriced for the upside that he does bring. So give me some Volkanovski and give me some Volkanovski at 9,000. I love the price tag there for him. Uh, Jim Miller, 8,700. Like me some Jim Miller here as well. Early finish upside. Uh, Jim Miller, when you typically think of him, you think of you know Jim Miller getting it done in the first round, and he has done a lot of that in his career, but we do see his last two fights, he has finished them in the second round, so that's kind of nice to see there, but Cerrone has been finished nine times at this point, um, we see that Jim Miller has a 71% finish rate, and Miller has shown off some power as of late, you know, typically when you think of Miller, you're thinking of, you know, the submissions of Jim Miller, and rightfully so, this guy's finished over half his wins by submission, but he is going out there and knocking guys out, and I think that's going to be the case in this fight against Donald Cerrone, who is uh, definitely towards the end of his career, and you can argue both guys are towards the end of their career, but I think that Jim Miller definitely has a little bit more left in the tank. Um, he doesn't look completely washed like Donald Cerrone does, and I think Jim Miller goes out there and gets a very first-round finish and uh, does it by knockout and puts up a big score there. So let me some Jim Miller at 8,700. Uh, next, Jalen Turner. 8,400. He's going to have a huge size advantage. He's going to have an 8-inch height advantage, and he's very long. He's very rangy. He's dangerous. A 100% finish rate for Turner. Uh, Riddell has been finished in both of his losses, one by knockout, one by submission, and I feel like Jalen Turner could either, either knock out Riddell or submit him as well. Um, Jalen Turner, very dangerous anywhere the fight goes. He's a brown belt in BJJ, and on top of that, he has a ton of power. I think somebody does get finished here. We see the fight doesn't go to decision line. Is sitting at minus 180. And I think it's a really good fight to target overall because we have a kill or be killed fighter in Jalen Turner who has that 100% finish rate, but he's also been finished in three of his five losses, three by knockout. And Jalen Turner does have a 44% strike in defense, so he can be hit, he can be knocked out. I think somebody gets finished here, but I am leaning towards Jalen Turner going out there and finishing Brad Riddell and probably doing it early. Uh, and then lastly, we have Drikus Duplessis, 8,000. Um, he's way underpriced here. I think he's. Um, probably one of the best, if not the best, value play on the entire slate. We have him priced as an underdog on DraftKings at 8000 with Tavares at 8200 But if you take a look at the money line, he's minus 140 So he's the favorite on the money line, priced as a dog. I think we got to take advantage here. And he's another guy with that 100% finish rate. And another guy, just like Jalen Turner, he's dangerous anywhere the fight goes. Um, tons of submissions on his record, tons of knockouts, tons of power. He showed off his power in his UFC debut. And then showed it off again in his second fight, getting back-to-back -back knockouts. One of the first, one of the second. And I think he gets another knockout here. Tavares has been knocked out three times. And I think Duplessis, if he does win the fight, it is probably by knockout. And it is probably in those first two rounds. So um, I like all these guys quite a bit. You know, Alexander Volkanovsky, cash in tournaments, I like him a lot. I think he has a great floor, great ceiling. The fight as a whole, I think, is a great one to stack in cash. Jim Miller, I think somebody's getting finished here. I think it's kind of Miller early or Donald Cerrone late. Jalen Turner, I think somebody's getting finished here. I think Jalen Turner is dangerous anywhere the fight goes. And that size advantage, I think, is going to be key. And then Drake is to plus E. Um, he's very dangerous, 100% finish rate, tons of power. And he's extremely underpriced. One of the best, if not the best, value play on the entire slate. Those are my core plays for UFC 276. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on your way out. Subscribe here to the MMA Engine. And we will talk to you guys very soon. See ya.